back at it like a crack attic. And this time we are playing with the Glam Light Icy Palette. And we're doing a Valentine's Day look. It is officially February. Um, Today is February 3rd. And it's 8 o'clock at night on a Friday. And I'm here filming. I wouldn't rather be... <laughs> I wouldn't want to be anywhere else on a Friday night but filming. So, look at this palette, y'all. Look at this. So beautiful. We're going to come up with something great. And pay attention to the products that I use today because this is going to come up in another video that I'm doing after. I'll post this first and then I'll post that after. So, it's going to be kind of fun. All right, y'all. Priming the lid with the P. Louise paint. Just taking it, trying to do that pat pat motion from P. Louise that they teach. Just taking it. So I'm going to take Sweet from the Glam Light Icy Cherry Palette. And I'm going to put that. Right here. I literally stopped talking for a second. <laughs> focusing, y'all. Focusing. So, I'm going to just put that right here. We are cutting the crease, of course. Just building up pigment using the Morphe Times Ariel A29 brush. I use this brush so much, I should literally know it by heart. Taking the P. Louise 124 brush, taking this shade Smile, and I'm going to put it right here. And instead of like swiping, I kind of like just press it on. I do sometimes swipe when I get closer to the brow to just kind of have that color just really be blown out with the fluffy brush. Yeah, these palettes are pigmented. Glam Light is really, really a nice brand, nice indie brand. Um, I have about, how many palettes I got from them? I got three palettes from them. Kind of just. Bigger brush, bigger Morphe Times Aerial Brush A25. Taking this shade, epic, and now we are now we can kind of just swirl it around and just try to blow out this color because it's gonna be our last color. Gonna be our last color, color, color. Taking some micellar water on a Q-tip and carve it out to, so I have placement for my um paint. Alright, so I'm back. From that little cleanup so taking p louise paint and rumor zero and wool shade zero and just about to cut this crease y'all okay so taking this shade sweet and just doing the ends And then taking Wild Cherry. Taking, then taking Epic. Uh, 
so I'm just gonna take Epic. And then taking Cool Taste. And yes, I am cleaning off my brush in between each shade. So now I'm just going to reiterate all those colors, put them all together, blend them really well. So taking this dark shade with this Makeup by Ariel, what kind of what brush is this? A19 brush and just lining by my lashes because yes, I'm taking my made by Mitchell light liquid liner in the shade candy man and do a little liner but I gotta be quiet for this so oh gosh I did this one better than that one. It's just gonna have to be like this, yes. So for the inner corner, I'm going in with Wild Cherry. This is gonna kinda be like a base because as y'all can see on this eye, I went in with Danessa Mary's Chrome Flake. And just take a little bit on this Rose and Ben Beauty E27 brush, my favorite inner corner brush. And ooh. Ooh. And there it goes, folks. Look at that. Alright, so I'm gonna cut a little bit, put on my other lash. Is from Ivy Ink Luxury Mink Lashes. And I'll be back. Lashes on, but let's use this Morphe eyeliner in coconut for the waterline. So for primer, I'm going in with my Danessa Merrick's Yummy Balm Powder in the shade universal i talk about this all the time this is a brand new one because i went through my last one this is the elf putty primer application brush so this is meant for um elf's product but i'll use it for what i want to use it for <laughs> so i'm just putting this all over my t-zone i'm just gonna keep it right there my t-zone What I like to do for primers, let it sit for 60 seconds and then go in with my foundation. So using the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter, the shade Deep 6.5, I'm going to put this around the perimeters of the face. Because I really want to be kind of glowy today for this Valentine's Day look. I want to look glowy. I'm just, I'm just painting it on. I'm doing too much. But leave me alone. Leave me alone. to give you a nice subtle glow i actually like this product and when elf came out with theirs i was like damn i just yeah i had literally just brought this product when elf came out with their version of this glowy products so that's why i haven't tried elf's out but i heard elf's is good and of course it's way cheaper than this one because I, for, I forgot the price of this one i just know it's stupid expensive 
But that's what I do. I buy expensive makeup. Right, so I'm taking my Beauty Bakery foundation in the shade 317. I'm putting that on my mixing palette and then I'm taking my Sephora Pro Foundation Brush 56 and it looks really orange on camera, but in person, this is my shade. Trust and believe it. For concealer, I'm taking my Kosas Concealer 7.5 and 8.2. So this one is closer to my skin tone. So I'm going to go in with that right here. And then just right there. I love this concealer. And you'll know how much I love this concealer because I'm going to be doing a video about it soon. And that's the brighter and I'm putting that right there. Look how creamy it looks. You can see it through the camera. So for bronzer, I'm taking my Pink Honey Bronzing Face Frosting in the shade Hazelnut. This is a UK brand. So I'm taking my Fenty 125 Face Brush, perfect brush for contour bronzing. Y'all, this is so subtle and I love it how creamy it is. It's always sold out and I was able to get my hands on one and then I had brought the Christmas I had brought the Christmas advent calendar from Pink Honey and y'all my shade of bronzer was in this box and I was so so happy All right, and then I'm taking for blush. I'm taking my Rare Beauty Liquid Blush in the shade Lucky, and yeah, I'm taking that much. This is gonna wind up connecting to the eyeshadow. So I love a lot of blush. I'm like a clown. I look like a clown. Okay. For powder, I'm taking my Laura Mercier Translucent Medium Deep and take that. I like to do pat it first and then go in with it. I'm just double checking. I have no creases. And then Carve it out right here. Okay. Love this powder. So for my pressed powder, I'm taking the Fenty Beauty Soft Matte Powder Foundation in the shade 410. Taking this Morphe by Aerial A21 brush. I love this powder. This is a foundation, but I use it just to really set the face. Like, I use this powder to really set the face. So, for bronzer, we're taking the Juvia's Place Bronze Duo in the shade Dark. Shade Dark. What to do is mix up these two colors. Jaclyn Cosmetics Loose Blush in the shade Love Poem. Taking my sponge and taking this Charlotte Tisbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. I like to spray my sponge and then press it into my skin. I don't like spraying it, only if I'm doing my base first and I barely do my base first. 
and then feel free to keep on spraying it you may say it's wasting more spray but this is just how i like to do it and this is a good um setting spray i felt like putting on some pearls by beats by Debs cosmetics and without without a certain utensil this stuff is hard So for lips, I lined my lips with this Juvia's Place Looks Liner and Cola. And I'm going to be teaming it up with this Fenty Cream and Bubble Binge. This is the perfect pink for this look. The final look! What do y'all think? I love it. It was quite a process. It looked rough for a minute, but I put it in together, and that's what a real makeup artist does. <laughs> I'm so glad I added the pearls too. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Let me know if you guys want to see any videos from me. And I hope you guys have a great Valentine's Day. Bye.